Hey everybody, I'm Kat Cora. Welcome to Quarantine Cuisine. Listen, the whole family is back together. We have the best news. Rose's test came back negative. The kids are back with us. We're all together. We're having the best weekend. This is the best gift we could ever ask for. Happy Sunday, everybody. I'm gonna make a dish for you today for dinner called Lomo Saltado. It's a classic Peruvian dish and it's absolutely delicious. It's got meat in it. I'm using chicken as well and a strip steak. French fries, onions, tomatoes, usually cilantro, but I've got oregano, so I'm using what I have on hand. And I'm, I've got some brown rice as well to go with it. You can use white rice. Again, we're trying to use whatever we have on hand and make our ingredients stretch right now during this uncertain time. So I'm gonna get started right now. And I'm gonna come over here and I've got my pans heated. I'm actually using two pans. Um, you can use one big one, that's fine, but I happen to have two big ones, so I'm gonna use two big pans. I'm gonna use the, do the meat in one, my chicken and my steak. I'm gonna do it together, just like you would fajitas. I'm gonna start that off. So I'm adding that right in. The meat in here, getting that really nice and yummy. And I've marinated, all I did was marinate with a little bit of uh, garlic powder, salt, pepper, get a little rub on it. And this is a, stri a simple strip steak. You can use whatever you have. If you've got flank steak or what have you, use that too. And I'm gonna get that going as well. I'm just gonna start getting that sauteed. It's really quick, so you can see my heat is on high. I have everything on high, and it's going really hard, sauteing this. Yes, look at that. And I'm so excited that my wifey is back. I'm not holding the camera, I'm trying to cook again. Nicole is behind the camera. Hi, everyone. Say hi, honey. Yes. All right, so when I get started, I'm gonna kind of set that aside. I'm gonna start putting in some of my chicken pieces as well. All right, putting that right in. Make sure you don't put too much in at once. All right, put that going here. What are you making? And I've got my, oh, it's for dinner. Lomo mm. It looks so good. French fries, a little bit of onion and tomato and yumminess. You excited? Uh -huh. Oh, oh, you got a, you're still on the French fry there. I saw that. All right. The French Wonderful. fries you just make from a bag, yes. right? Because I did. We have a lot of frozen foods right now. I just made a my. We had some frozen French fries in. Thank goodness, and we can make this dish. And I said, well, what can we make? We got some frozen French fries and chicken and strip steak, and I decided to make a little potato. So I'm just gonna kind of mix this all in here. I'm gonna mix both of these in like that. And it's okay. I'm cooking this at a high heat. And all of this meat, it's okay if you cook raw chicken and raw meat together, a lot like fajitas, um, because it's all gonna get cooked. It's all being cooked at a very high temperature, so you know there's no cross-contamination, things like that. Anybody's worried? Shouldn't be. Just cook it really good and make sure it's all cooked through. So this is that kind of dish. So I'm gonna get the chicken cooked. And in the meantime, what I did was, as you can see, I'm gonna I've got some french fries that I cooked here. I've got rice that I cooked and I've already set it on the platter. I'm gonna reheat that up. I'm just gonna get that nice and hot and then I'm gonna add in my tomatoes, my onions, and it's gonna be ready to go. So, once that gets nice and cooked, we got this part cooked close. It takes a few minutes and I think this is a really good time. I mean, I can't believe it. we're actually all together. I never thought this was gonna happen this weekend. I was very nervous, but I prayed a lot. I wished a lot, I hoped a lot, and we are. And so, you know, this is just the best weekend. We're having big celebrations, you can imagine, reunion. We're cooking again for eight people, so I'm cooking again. <laughs> I'm cooking again, three meals a day, lots of lots of food, which is makes me so happy. And I'm so glad you guys are joining me today and popping in to see this. So we're pretty close on, I'm gonna keep this cooking. So I'm gonna keep stirring this in right here. I'm gonna put it all in one pan now. And get that going. Let that keep cooking while I put in my tomato and onions. I'm going to get the pan hot again. I'm going to keep the juices in here because this is going to make that sauce. It's going to start really giving a coating, all the good yumminess, the flavor on the pan. You don't want to wash this out. You want to keep some of that those pan juices in here because you're going to cook your onion and your tomato in that. So keep that going. Make sure my heat is high on this pan because I want that to get really good and yummy. So now I'm going to bring over my tomatoes and onions. I'm going to put the onions in. I'm going to kind of break those up a little bit in here. 
Yes. This is such a great classic dish. And, you know, Peruvian food is so delicious. Um, you know, I was able to go to Peru at one point and um, the capital and really taste the local foods. And this is just something I know Nicole ate a lot of. Um, when she was on set and, and with music videos, and it was a really good, one of those really good meals. So when she's, you know, filming the Lady Gaga videos and they're going through production, it was a great, her go-to meal. Um, was second meal. Sotato. Yeah, so it's the second, second meal, meal for set. We'd always get Mario's Peruvian Ooh. and order from them the Loma Saltado. Oh, my God, so good. And I, Such a great little Los Angeles Mom and pop restaurant. If nobody's been there, yeah. you check Go out Mario. Check it out for sure. When things reopen. All right, so I'm gonna saute these. I can already smell the onion going, and um, I don't have any fresh garlic. So what I'm gonna do is use some garlic powder. This is a great time to again, fresh garlic is best. But if you don't have that, use some of your spices that you need to use up. So I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder just to. Normally I would throw in some fresh garlic cloves, but I just don't have it. I'm using everything I have on hand right now. So toss that really good. Get some yumminess in there. Get those, get those tomatoes and onions really cooked down with those juices. And you can see the juices are just coating in here and it's just so delicious. I'm gonna add a little pepper to it and a little salt. Get right there. And I'm not gonna add too much because I'm adding vinegar and I'm adding soy sauce. That's what I'm gonna deglaze with in both of these. So I'm gonna add that as soon as this meat is cooked, which is very close. You can see that the chicken is cooked. That's the thing I'm worried about most. I want my chicken cooked really good and through. The beef can be a little bit pink inside, it's okay. But cooking it with the chicken is definitely gonna be uh, cooked pretty uh, medium well. But that's okay, because that's delicious. It's like, you know, can't beat it with all these flavors going on. Yes. Is this kind of looking close to what you're used to, honey? Oh my gosh, better. Uh, this is looking yeah, so good. I love lucky these. I'm today. actually gonna put this a little bit. This is amazing. Of, put a this little was bit a really good idea, honey. It was a very doing. good. What a great Sunday supper, too. What a great Sunday supper. And I'm gonna put it on a big platter. We're gonna serve it family style. Let everybody kind of dig in and have fun eating it. And uh, yeah, it's just looking so good here. And, you know, we're going to have a really great lineup this week coming up. We have some great guests coming on. I'm so excited. I'm going to keep it a surprise. You'll see them every day when they pop in. But I think we have a great lineup this week coming at you. Remember, it's Quarantine Cuisine, 5 p.m. every day for dinner time. And I'm going to show you what I'm making for dinner every day. We're going to stay connected. We're going to talk about topics, news, what's happening, how we're all coping in quarantine, and just having a good time together. So this is really good now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna add in some soy sauce. I'm gonna split it up. I'm gonna add half and half in there. Soy sauce in and some white vinegar. It's just gonna go in, gives you that tanginess, that, that tangy, uh, yummy-ness that you get with this dish. And that's mm, what- That I, this, smells amazing. <laughs> it smells so good. Oh, oh babe, God. that is ridiculous. <laughs> this looks so good. I think it's pretty close. I think it's looking really good. Just gonna get this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it kind of reduce mm. down a little bit. But I want some of that juice in there because I want the onion, the, the uh, french fries to soak up some of those juices when we toss it all in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start kind of putting this half and half because I'm gonna just equal, equal parts of each thing. So I'm gonna kind of be mixing this some. So I'm gonna take some of these and put that in there. It's just like if you're in a restaurant, you know, you're trying to, you know, I feel like I'm cooking for a restaurant. I feel like I have eight, yeah, eight people is a lot of people to cook for, but I'm used to it and it's, it's no biggie, but I can imagine when you're at home and, you know, you're cooking for the first time, three meals a day, every day, seven days a week. It's a little bit daunting, but, but that's this isn't, this isn't that hard to no, do, right? This is, a, this is a very easy dish. I mean, it's literally, you're just putting everything in the, in the pot. Your the pan and or you could do a big roasting pan as well. Oh, now what I'm gonna do? Oh, still in two. What? <laughs> little little Scooby snack to hold you over. <laughs> all right, now I'm just adding in all the French fries. So this is kind of what you do. You just take all those French fries and you just start adding them into the to the pan. Oh, this is so good. The kids are gonna devour this. And us. And us. We're gonna devour too. Super excited. And this is a great. 
This is a great dinner for the family. I mean, really good. So now I'm going to toss it. I'm going to toss everything. Look at that. Do that again. So sexy. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that, honey. I'm trying to trying to be sexy. Turn it on. Here we go. All right, I'm coming over to the platter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to put it right around the... And some of the juices are going to be really nice. It's going to warm the rice up and... It's gonna be so good. Wow, look at that. Oof, mm -hmm. That is so dang delicious. I mean, golly, that is so good. Wow, and all those juices will soak into the rice as well. So I'm gonna, yeah, we're not done yet. Remember, we got six boys to feed. <laughs> we're gonna pile it up. That's the way to do it. Get a big platter. I'll get your platters out that you usually save for holidays and make a big family style meal. You don't have to plate everything individually. You can just let everybody kind of help themselves and get around the table. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. Oh, that looks so good. And then what I'm gonna do is normally, in Lomo Sotada, you basically, it's really with um, cilantro, but I'm gonna add in just a little oregano because that's what I have. And, or you can add no, nothing. You can just do, like that is perfect, actually. So I'm just gonna add a few leaves of the, just to get a little bit more flavor in there. My mouth is watering. I am so ready to dig in, and I know the kids are gonna Boys, go. dinner's ready! Dinner's ready! Woo! Come on! Supper time! Oof, I'm gonna take this over here. Look at this. Oh! I mean, that is a feast. A, a one pot, a one pan feast. And we have our phone bowl here. This is where all the phones go. We do that every single night when we have dinner or any meal that we have together. We have a phone bowl. Ow, that hit my hand. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I'm not that tall. What happened? <laughs> we have a phone bowl here. Everybody has oh, to put their phone in there. Look at that. Oh my God. All right. All right. Let me go get them. Dinner time. Bye, you guys. Loved all of you. Have a really amazing, happy Sunday. And I'm coming to you tomorrow night, 5 p.m. Just like every day, Quarantine Cuisine coming right at you.